As you continue assigning assessments on Edge Elastic, you're going to find many different statuses that are available for students to show their current progress in an assessment. To find these statuses, you can go to two places. One is to go to the class and choose the most recent assessment showing right here on the dashboard. Or you can go to the assignments tab, see the overall status for all of your assessments and classes, and see the live class board statuses that shows that particular class and the individual student statuses within that assessment. We're going to go ahead and go over each one of these statuses here in the best course of action for them. The first one here is Bill Murray. Bill Murray has a red exclamation mark, and that means that he's no longer enrolled to this class. This could be that Bill recently transferred out of my class, but I had already assigned the assessment at that time. All I need to do is click the box, choose more, and remove the student from my assessment. The next student here is considered absent. This happens for two reasons. One, you're a premium user and you mark the student as absent because they're not in the class and you do not want them to have access to the assessment at home. The other reason is the assessment window has closed and the student did not start the test before the window closed. At this point, this student needs to be redirected. To redirect, click on the box and redirect here. Redirect will give me a few different options depending on your subscription level. I'll go ahead and redirect to that student and now you'll see it says redirected. Moving to the next student, this student's considered graded, but actually has no responses given. This probably happened because the student started the test, but never finished the test before the window closed. In this case, this student needs a retake. So similar to the absent student who needed access to the assessment, this student does as well, and I'll click on the box, choose redirect, read my options, and then redirect again. The next student here did very well. They got an 88 and they're considered graded. There's no action necessary here unless you want to click into the student to see the results and determine what they need help with on questions number one, five, and seven. The next student is graded, answered almost all of the questions except for question five here, but they struggled, they got a 48. We're gonna do the same thing we did earlier to the absent student and to the student who did not finish the assessment and we're just going to click the box and redirect. Again, making sure you check your options and then redirect again. When I redirect, you'll notice that the student answers have disappeared here. Once the student submits their test, you'll have a view responses option here where you can click and see both their first and second attempt. The next student is in progress. And again, there is no action necessary because that means the student is taking the test either right now or has started the test and is still working on it. The next student is in that redirected status we mentioned earlier. This is a student that got redirected to give them access to the assessment, whether they got a poor test take on the first one, or if they were marked as absent and didn't have access to the assessment. And then finally, the last student here, this student's considered in grading. So this student actually submitted the test, but they have one question here that has not been manually graded yet. That is represented by the blue in the student card here, and by the blue up in the question bar graph here. To manually grade that question, I'll click on view responses. Then I'll click on not graded, and that will take me to the not graded questions. I'll read the student's response, and I'll give the student their feedback. As I come back to the card view here, you'll notice that the student is now considered graded. The last thing to cover here is that not all of my students are on this test. I've added some students since I've assigned the test, and I need to add them manually. To do so, I'll go to that More option here, and then I'll choose the Add Students button. Add Students will allow me to select the students that are in my class, but not currently on the assessment. Now I'll click Add, and they'll be added to the assessment. 